Hi guys, last year after the Gumball 3000, I made a video, Home Ball, heading back from Ibiza towards London in the McLaren 12C. Well, for this year's rally, the start is in Sweden. So we've got Go Ball. We're kicking off here in London. It's just gone half past five in the morning, and we have a very long drive ahead of us today. We're going to head up through France, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Denmark, picking up a friend at Copenhagen Airport tonight, and then into Sweden. So officially, we've got a 16-hour drive today, so this is going to be pretty intense. Tomorrow, we're going to be stopping off at Koenigsegg on our way towards Stockholm, where the rally is going to kick off. So the main Schmie car, the McLaren 650S, has already gone on a truck and a ship on the way over there. And we'll be driving in the support car, the Bentley Continental Super Sports. No shortage of power here, six litre V, sorry, W12. Um, and Jason lurking around at the back, um, co-driver from the last couple of years on Gumball, who will be here as well, just sticking everything in the boot, which is presumably absolutely crammed. And we've still got yes. some more people and more stuff to come in. Um, but we need to get on our way get to the Euro tunnel, so we'll jump in. Jason, take the wheel for the first bit and get in towards Europe. So it's pretty unusually sunny this morning. You can probably tell that we're both being absolutely blinded, um, but we'll stop. Let me just put the window down. So the stickers that are all over this car. There is actually a story to it. It matches up with the McLaren. So the theme for this year's rally is the Las Vegas Casino. And wow, that got a lot a lot quieter when I put the window up. That'd be nice. It's actually really silent in it. Anyway, back on point. Um, the theme is the Las Vegas Casino. So we've done the playing color theme on the McLaren. We've done roulette wheels with some dice valve caps. All a little bit silly, all a bit fun in the spirit of Gumball. Um, it's kind of funny actually on social media watching all the reactions because people absolutely hate <laughs> what we've done to the cars. But I think they haven't really understood the spirit and the whole sort of point of Gumball. Um, but anyway, they'll go back to normal afterwards. This is a very nice, uh, was it dark grey? Um, Bentley Super Sports with some like yellow trim bits uh, on the paddles, around the piping on the seats. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty nice spec car um, that we're using. We were going to have a Range Rover, but uh, in very Gumball fashion, last minute it all kind of changed and the Bentley option came up and uh, we sorted that. Um, so like I said, we're setting off, we're heading out of London. Um, it's now 5.55 in the morning. Um, and we're going to be going to pick up Seb, um, Seb Delaney, who's going to be helping me film on this trip um, from Copenhagen. He's flying up uh, there. He gets in at, I don't even know, 8 or something later on today. So that gives us about 14 hours to get to Copenhagen, something like that. Um, and then we've got another hour or two into uh, Sweden after that. Uh, fingers crossed we're going to get there in time. It's actually kind of funny because you know we're in the congestion charge. But it's so early it hasn't started yet. Wee, <laughs> loopholes! Yeah. So, so London has this like central centre of the city charging zone where you have to pay £11.50 um, to drive in it. But that only kicks in at 7am. That's okay, we just use £11.50 accelerating away from yeah. the <laughs> I'm very interested to see how long with sort of gentle motorway miles. Well, the whole tank is going to be on, mot on the motorway. We just filled up. I'm very intrigued to see how long it's going to last. Yeah. Um, and when we're driving the two cars together, I don't think it's going to be long, though. It's a massive engine up front there. But uh, let's make our way down towards the Eurotunnel. at the Euro Tunnel and the motorway was pretty dead most of the way down as you'd expect. It's uh, 10 past 7 in the morning. <laughs> but actually it's kind of busy getting out of town. Jason's been at the wheel, done leg one. It's pretty quiet and chilled in here actually. Um, if you were going to do a really intense long road trip day, the Bentley Super Sports is probably quite a good way to do it. <laughs> it's just funny looking out the mirror. <laughs> You're looking in both mirrors at all of that green and red and black and getting some odd looks. I'm kind of wondering how many people today might ask us if we're heading down to the Gumball. Or well, up to the Gumball, actually. Uh, but we're gonna take it as it comes, maybe get some rest on the way, but get checked in now for the train. Normally, we would pop in there, in the uh, Eurotunnel terminal, and get a Burger King. But this time, speed is of the essence. We've got our, uh, our pass. We're just gonna go straight on the train. 
we found some other supercars, a 458 and a 16M. Big 458. 458 Spider. Wonder where they're headed. Might be Gumball, who knows? Straight through, through the French customs, and the guy said something I have absolutely no idea what he was chatting about. No clue, we need Seb to translate. <laughs> yeah, he was looking at the uh, outside of the car and uh, questioning everything. And as usual, back here, uh, we're going the high vehicles way, um, so that we don't have to worry about curbing the wheels, although somebody has actually already done that, I noticed. Yeah, not us, a, not, not us. Not us, but this, this car has been curbed before. Um, but, uh, yeah, bright and early. I'm so out of it, so I apologise for how... This makes no sense. <laughs> but this is go ball. It's gonna go to plan. Not like home ball last year, which went wrong in every possible way. Um, so far, so good. Well, it didn't take long. We just stopped to get a quick snack there at the place just before our light. We got some bacon and egg rolls, very British. Um, and somebody said, where are you boys off to? You must be on some rally or something. <laughs> so I was just saying whether anybody was going to um, ask us that today and now it's just quickly become a case of how many people are going to ask us that today. What do you think? How many? I'm predicting in the 16 hours at least five people. Okay. Five or six, yeah. Five or six. Hmm, I'm not, I don't think it'll be that many. But uh, we're going to go and board the train. Out we roll into a gorgeously sunny France. Good driving day. And then you look at the navigation system, which if you can see on here, it's not quite focused, typical. Uh, it says arrival time 9 p.m., 11 hours, 33 minutes, 766 miles. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm depressed, and then I'm like, no, I'm in a Bentley, I'm okay. It's all good, life is good. This is a pretty comfortable way to do it. I've got my uh, got my Union Jack pillow here. Now asleep. <laughs> I'm really feeling very British right now. Um, Bacon sandwich in the morning. British pillow. <laughs> Bentley. Bentley. Well, we are basically Team Britain. Bentley and McLaren now. Yeah. With <laughs> green and stickers. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay, hit the road. Let's go. We got word that there was a massive fire on the other side of the road. Oh gosh, and that is definitely it. That's bad. A couple of trucks. That's a total, total mess. Well, fingers crossed everyone's okay, because that does not look pretty at all. Um, kind of weird seeing the other side of the motorway so completely dead. Um, actually kind of smells of burning as well. That was really, really bad. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I've been asleep for a couple of hours. <laughs> I've just woken up, Jason's been driving all the way. Uh, we've actually just ticked under a thousand kilometers now of the journey to go. He says checking, obviously posting Instagram stuff as well, well as we go. 995 kilometers to go, if you can see that. Um, nine hours, nine and a quarter hours. We've shaved so far around uh, around half an hour of our journey time actually. So it's not gonna be too bad, but we're gonna pull in and fill up again in a moment. Not again, we haven't filled up yet. We're gonna fill up for the first time. First in a moment. Time. Fuel stop time, we're about 400 kilometers into today's journey. Um, we're not actually out, we've just chosen to fill up a little bit early. Um, also, by the way, in case you're wondering, this is one of the 2015 Shmi 150 Gumball t-shirts. Obviously the green and red to go with the theme, the poker chip, Las Vegas, it all sort of ties in, bit of fun. So we've got a couple of these to give out during the rally as well, and you can find them on the Shmi shop as well if you fancy buying one. You can't make it to one of the stops, um, but yeah. Turning lots of heads, having lots of fun gonna fill up with some snacks and drinks for us as well as for the car before we get on the way what's next to the Netherlands next we're going to seven countries today UK France Belgium Netherlands Germany Denmark and then Sweden so that's quite a uh, big trip for one day we're cruising through Germany but we're having pretty variable weather right now it's not actually raining but there's a lot of standing water so we've been pretty careful but we've also had some clear stretches where obviously been pushing on a bit and the Bentley's doing a brilliant job. It's very, very steady at speed and comfortable too. But something kind of cool, you remember earlier we went past that accident? Um, well, Robin Veerman sent me this screenshot. We were caught in the middle of a 20 second live TV broadcast on Dutch national television, <laughs> driving past the background of the pres presenter there. Now, unfortunately, it sounds like it was a pretty nasty accident, but uh, of all coincidences, how crazy is that? And we've now been sent quite a bunch more uh, screenshots and the like too, so that's quite funny. 
um, little things like that that always make a long journey a little bit more entertaining but really from here on we're just cracking on through Germany we've got about six more hours to go we've been rotating I've had the last couple of hours at the wheel but Jason's back um, cruising along and uh, getting on our way towards Copenhagen getting this race to collect Seb see if we beat, get there before he does of the Autobahn then, we're just cruising along 250 kilometers per hour right now, 155 miles per hour. Everyone is so well behaved, tucked straight in, just lets you go on. But it's quite a lot of fun just cruising up towards Denmark. And actually as we have it, I'm gonna slow down fast. So this is the border right here, into Denmark. No, one kilometer, sorry. Our sixth country of the day though that we're going to be arriving at. Uh, which is pretty crazy, we've been on the road for coming off 12 hours now. 12 hours. We've still got a couple more to go uh, as we arrive towards Denmark. Blasting through Denmark and we came across two guys who were standing on a bridge. They had asked on Facebook where we were at and uh, Mark back at home had replied that we were going to get here. So the guys were waiting and I think uh, that's uh, some, uh, the first like the maiden handing out of this year's Gumball Show. Nice. No, thanks for waiting guys and thanks for following. Thank you, really appreciate it. <laughs> we, uh, we went past the bridge and then um, saw them obviously taking some pics and I uh, was like, right, we'll pull in at the next fuel station because we needed it anyway. And they've run here. Was it two kilometers, I think you said? Yeah, yeah. two kilometers. <laughs> That's dedication. Oh, well, thanks, guys. How long have you guys been waiting? Two, three hours. Woo! Sorry for the traffic. <laughs> Guilty, but I'm just happy you're here. Yeah, no, it's cool. Good to meet you. Will you come and see all the cars coming back next week? Yeah, yeah, we will. You'll wait here? Tuesday we wait here and Monday we... Are you going to come here? Yeah. Because there are lots of cool cars in this. Yeah. Lots of cars. <laughs> yeah, you will, you will. I can't wait to drive it again. <laughs> Here we are at the airport, and here is Sebastian. Hello! Welcome. Hi! Welcome it's to cool, Denmark. this is really nice. You yeah, know I know. You, you know you're going to be in Denmark for about 10 minutes. I've been in the airport, it's a cool airport. <laughs> That's my conclusion. You did beat us here. Yeah. Um, and we're going straight out, and we've got about an hour and a bit to go to Angleholm, which is the home of Koenigsegg, uh, where we're going to be sleeping tonight. Uh, but yeah, we go straight to a big tunnel and out the country. And you've even got your little, like, filming oh, no. window. Pillarless, um, whatever they call that. But it looks cool. Who is it back there? You got some yeah, space? I've got loads of room actually, and the seats are really comfortable. Yeah, good. we've got our little packing system going, which is quite good. <laughs> everything, got the everything shoved in the corner system. Yeah, there's, there's actually enough space though. This is yeah, there's plenty. This I'm happy with this. Fits, fits the deal perfectly. Mm. We're pretty worn out. It's been a long day. Yeah. But it's now 9:20, and the first time I showed this screen this morning, I think it was like 5:55 or something, um, and that was quite a long time ago. <laughs> Um, so let's go find this tunnel and pay another toll. We've arrived and checked in at our hotel. It has been a mega day, 17 hours on the road. Seb is absolutely buzzing because he's now here for Gumball. With Jason and I, after our pretty late night last night doing all of the stickers and all of the driving today, are pretty exhausted. And tomorrow we're off to visit Koenigsegg, so this is gonna be pretty good fun as well. But I think pretty much straight in, get this edited and then get to sleep. I am shattered. I'll catch up with you again from this trip towards Gumball. It's going to be mega. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.